I got to thinking about a question I'd really like to ask you particularly, and that is, if you could make a golf ball do anything that you wanted to, to do, would you be interested in finding out how? Most golfers say yes to that, uh, because I think one of the main things in golf is we have been told for so many years that it's such a difficult, difficult thing to learn how to swing a golf club and control a golf shot. And there are all these parts and pieces, and there are hundreds of things that you are supposed to be doing, supposedly. And what if I told you that there are really only two things that are important in golf? Just two things in order, to have, in, in order to hit a golf ball the way you want to. The first one is... This is gonna shock you. The first one is just to make the golf club contact the golf ball solidly, consistently, every time you swing. Now, I didn't say where the ball's going. I don't care where it goes. The first thing you need to learn to do is just how to make consistent contact on the ball so it's flying somewhere, okay? Number two, number two, is once you can make consistent contact on the ball and it is flying, number two is just to learn how to curve it or direct it or make it go where you do what you want to do and go where you want to go. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of things that you can learn and find on the internet and everything else about the golf swing. But how many people talk about just making the ball do what you want it to do? You know, we hear this visualization thing. You just visualize your shot and you can do it. Well, there's one problem with that. I can visualize me shooting a three-pointer in the NBA. <laughs> I've never done it. I'm never going to do it because I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know what it's like to have someone's hand right in my face <laughs> and giving it a shot and giving it a try. So I can visualize, visualize that until the cows come home, but it's not going to work. This is what's happening in golf. In golf, we've been taught to visualize the shot and we can hit it. Here's the problem with that. Now, I'm a golf sports psychology instructor. instructor. I'm certified to teach how the mind works in golf. If you don't understand what makes the golf ball do what you want it to do, or even what it's already doing and you don't want it to do, then you can visualize all day long and nothing's going to change because you don't, you're not visualizing what you need to do to make the golf ball do what you want it to do. And I did a clinic just recently. And I'm going to show you a short little clip from one of the men that came. And uh, you'll get a kick out of this. Take a peek once. Now, what I would like to do for a little bit is to start somewhere I think we'll start here and just work through the line. What kind of shot would you like to learn? Fade. Come on over here. You have trouble fading the ball? Yep. Okay. No problem slicing it. But, uh... Okay. So you want to calm down the slice? Yep. Good. What club do you have? Seven. Good. Excellent. Hold your golf club, please. What's club face doing itself? Stand pretty yeah. square? Yeah, stand square. Okay. What do you feel it doing now? Releasing. Feel release? Yeah. Okay. So, if you do this, you're going to hit a draw. Right. Would you like to do that first? Sure. Okay. You, you feel what it feels like? Mm -hmm. Then just do it. There's no target. Just swing it back and pop it through and let it go. Okay, so you can hit a draw when you want to now. Could you, could you do that before? No. No? Not on demand. Not on demand? <laughs> Maybe my second or third ball. <laughs> I'm going to get closer so they can hear you on the microphone. We just spent two hours in the classroom and you couldn't do that before, but you did on the first swing without did warming up. Because yeah. <laughs> you saw a different picture, didn't did. you? Yeah. Would you like to hit another draw or would you like to hit a fade? Uh, let's try another draw. Sure. So get your mind set up and rehearse a draw. Careful. Yeah. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Feels way different than what you're used to feeling in the swing, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So don't worry about target. Just whip it out there and hit her down there and see if it does it. I can guarantee you one. Oh, what'd it do? 
It drew back? It drew back. So you know how to hit a draw now in two swings without even warming up. Right. Based on <laughs> that is pretty strange. For most golfers, they can't imagine there wasn't any more said than that. That man did that with just in a matter of a few minutes. I mean, it was nothing. Some of you have taken scads of golf lessons. You've done all kinds of things trying to learn to make a golf ball draw. In this clinic, most ever, in fact, everyone in the clinic was slicing the golf ball and fading the golf ball and wanted to learn how to hit a draw. We spent two and a half hours in the classroom before we went to the driving range, just explaining what makes a golf ball do what it does. Here's what's really interesting. This blew their minds. In the two and a half hours, we never talked about the golf swing. We only talked about what makes a golf ball do what it does, how to make it do what you want it to do, how come it's doing what it's doing now that you don't understand and need to correct. That's all we talked about. We didn't talk about the golf swing. We didn't talk about where your hands belong, how your lower body's supposed to. We didn't talk about any of that. All we talked about it was how to make a golf ball do what you want it to do. <laughs> I told the gentleman in the class, I said, if you can learn to make the golf ball do what you want it to do, a golf swing will show up. You get all through, in other words, and your friends will say, God, you've got a great golf swing. Your golf swing has really changed and it really looks good. And the people in this class were between 16 and 25 handicap. When we went to the range, none of them warmed up. You saw the guy. He did that just in almost nothing flat. And he had never hit a draw in his life on purpose. Okay? If you would like to hear more about this, I need your permission. So for right now, so I don't take any more of your time, just go right down there and push the button that just simply says, I would like to hear more about it. I am kind of interested. Good. And then what I'll do is if you're interested, then tomorrow I'll send you some information on it for you to watch again, and you'll begin to get the picture. Nothing flat. Okay? Great. If you're interested, see you tomorrow.